In this video, we're going to show you how to get copies of your Z-Inspector inspection reports to automatically show up into other programs such as Dropbox or Google Drive. To do this, we're going to be using a connection program called Zapier. In this video though, we're going to focus initially on Google Drive, but it's a very similar process to do the same thing with Dropbox. First thing you want to do is log in to your Google Drive account. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder called Z Inspector Reports. You don't have to do this, but I like a copy of all my reports to show up in one folder. Next, got to go to zapier.com. So you first go to Zapier, and then when you log in, you're actually going to end up here at your dashboard. There's different ways to connect your different accounts in Zapier. I find the easiest is to go to your personal icon here at the top and hit connected accounts. We're of course going to connect Z Inspector and here we can name it anything we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it Z Inspector. And we've got to get a unique API key that we have access to. So I'm going to go back to Z Inspector hit settings, go to the API section, and hit click here to generate an API key. Depending on your browser, you may have to select and copy this text. On Google Chrome, I can just hit copy. Now I'm going to go back to Zapier and paste in the API key and hit continue. Zapier tested the connection and now Zapier is linked to Z Inspector. We've got to do the same thing with Google Drive. So go search on Google Drive, find that. We can again rename that if we wanted to. Hit continue. And at this point, it's it's a little bit different setup, but since we're already logged in to Google Drive, all we have to do is hit allow. Okay, it's tested that account. And now Zapier has access to both of these two accounts. So we're going to go back to the dashboard. And now what we need to do is create a zap. So what is a zap? And a zap is when something happens, do something else. So in this example, we're going to, when something happens, that is when a Z Inspector report has been generated. We're going to put a copy of that report into Google Drive. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy file from trigger. So we're going to copy the file that was uploaded from Z Inspector and we're going to put it into Google Drive. And hit continue. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and test this account again to make sure everything is working properly. We're going to go ahead and test Google Drive again. Yep, that's all good. Now, these here are various filters you can do on the information that's coming from Z Inspector. You'd want to do this if you wanted to put, for instance, all move out reports in one folder. You could put a move out filter here. Or if you wanted to put everything for a particular unit, you could do that here as well. Now, since I'm just going to put all my Z Inspector reports into a single folder, I don't need to do any of this filtering. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Now, this brings me to the Google Drive options. Now, here I've got to choose where I'm actually going to put the folder inside of Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this Z Inspector report folder. Next, got to decide what is the actual file. There's really only one choice for this, but you have to do this option. You say insert fields, and this is the file download address. It's pulling it from the Amazon server that's managed by Z Inspector. So that's pulling the file. And now, um, do we want to convert this to an actual Google document that's an editable document? That's really up to you. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as a, a PDF, but you may decide to do something different there. And here we need to name the file. If you do not do anything here, you're just going to get a long kind of encryption code for, for the name. And so 
you're going to want to do something. And I would recommend to first pick the property name, which is really your unit name if you're doing multifamily properties. And then we're going to pick the activity date and the activity. And so what this will do for you is something like if you've got your units and then the underscore the date. And so you'll have, you, you can easily have all your, your reports um, sorted by first by unit and then they'll be chronological within the unit. And then you can easily see if it was a move in or move out or other type of report. Now you don't need to specify extension. Basically all these reports are PDF reports so you can just leave what the default is there. And hit continue. We can test this and hit continue. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this and say Z Inspector to Google Drive. And I'm gonna turn on that zap. So now if I go back to the dashboard here in Zapier, which we'll we'll end up at. You can see I've got my Z Inspector icon. Let's take my Z Inspector reports, put them in the Google Drive. This is on right now. I could turn it off if I wanted. Now it's not going to happen, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Okay, so let's go to Google Drive and go into this Z Inspector report folder. And it's currently blank as we thought it should be. Now I'm going to go back to Z Inspector and go to timeline and I'm gonna go rerun an old report. So I'm gonna open this report up and hit view the report. And I could just download the PDF, but if I download it and email it, it's going to email it as well as process it versus all or other report options, okay? So I'm gonna hit cancel at that point. So I've already downloaded the PDF. A copy of the report has showed up in my email and let's see now if we've got a copy here in Google Drive as well. You may need to refresh your screen and it may take a couple minutes to actually show up in this notebook as well. But if we click on the Z Inspector Reports notebook, that PDF is there and so here it is with the the unit name first, so Z sample property, the date, and that's gonna all be chronological as you as multiple reports over time, and then the activity. So this was a move out report. So I can I can open this uh, PDF up, and now I've got a normal PDF, and I can do with it whatever I want. I can share it or do anything as a normal Google Drive document. So that's how you can use Zapier to um, connect Z Inspector to Google Drive. It's a very similar process for Dropbox. If you have any questions or you need assistance, please contact us at support at zinspector.com. We look forward to helping you out.